Hey there, welcome to the installation video of the lower slider. You just mount the lower slider onto your crash plate. It just has to clip in. The next step, you take the little washer, the plastic washer, and place it into the fork of the lower slider. The hole has to be open, just place everything carefully. Sometimes a little fiddly, but you can do it. Yeah, now it's imperfect. Now push the M4 screw through the hole and place the nut behind. Hold everything in place and tighten the screw. You can tighten it to about like two Newton meter, doesn't need to be so tight. That's good. Okay, now everything fits perfectly. Nice system. So now you got to mount it to your bike. You actually use washers to adjust the chain line. So place the washers behind the crash plate and in between crash plate and ISCG tabs. So now you mount it first, the first screw, and then you do repeat this step for the other screw and tighten everything with about six Newton meters. So what you gotta know is um, zero washers means 48 millimeter chain line, one millimeter washer is 49, two millimeter washer is 50 and so on. So for boost, with a 52 millimeter chain line, you will need four millimeters of washer. Now, if you mount your crank, be careful with the chain ring that it doesn't collide with the lower slider. Use the gap between the T's to pass the lower slider carefully. Yeah, now you're in. Pretty nice. Now you can yeah, put the chain already, which is don't, and add the other crank on, tighten everything according to your manufacturer's recommendations. Okay, well done. Now you want to route the chain over the lower slider and close it. Good, transport it over like the yeah. Okay, now close the chain. Now it is a little out of the picture. Okay, there you go. Close the chain lock. And sometimes these locks are closing a little bit hard by hand, so you can transport it to the upper part of the chain and hammer a little kick underneath your paddle so it will lock. It's pretty much easiest trick. Now you can just check if everything runs like without any drag or grinding noise. And yeah, if that works, there's one more thing I like to let you know. The lower slider can actually move away from objects. So that's like a safety thing. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.